here is the Uwe Ball and um, I will do a few videos about restaurants, hospitality, Bauhaus, my experiences and uh, yeah, uh, what I just uh, wanted to tell uh, the Bauhaus fans and the Bauhaus um, enemies and also uh, Vancouver as a restaurant town and a hospitality uh, town uh, also from a worldwide perspective. So I will do not too long videos, it will be a few of them coming up in the next few days. Um, first of all, in Canada, especially in BC, uh, it's very hard and expensive to have a restaurant because the rents are so high. That is already a huge, huge problem in the restaurant industry. Will it change after Corona is uh, defeated in a way? Corona will stay there. It will be there. Uh, the question is, will travel be back to normal? Will uh, everything be back to full capacity? Will be people scared to go in restaurants uh, forever, even if they're vaccinated? That is a big, big question. And it will be very hard um, for hospitality to recover. And I assume also that a lot of restaurants will be closed for good and never reopen. Uh, Bauhaus is one of them. Um, I will not reopen a Bauhaus um, and my hospitality adventure is over. So uh, more details uh, about this uh, a little later down the road. Uh, the first thing I wanted to mention is alcohol. Alcohol is a savior in the, <laughs> in the note, uh, Retter in the note, how we in Germany say. It's, uh, of course, uh, one of the big profit bringers of a restaurant. And as an example, Canada and BC especially, the alcohol tax and the cost of alcohol to buy alcohol are, are, is unbelievable high. And so it makes it even harder for restaurateurs to make any money. For example, this wine, we had that wine in Vancouver also. An excellent Italian wine. I think we sold the bottle for 90 bucks, 95 bucks in our restaurant. And it's smooth, it has almost the quality of a Tignanello. Almost, not right there, but almost. So, uh, and this bottle costs here in Germany 16 euro, what is around 22 Canadian, 23 Canadian uh, uh, dollars. In Canada, it costs 45, 46. In Germany, you can buy alcohol in any gas station, any supermarket, there is nothing through the liquor stores. There are no liquor stores. The liquor stores are the supermarkets. They have huge sections of wines and you have a lot of online trading, online wine dealing too. Uh, so it's totally different organized. And so alcohol in general is way, way cheaper. A six pack in Germany costs six bucks. Like as an example, look what a six pack of beer is in Canada. So you can basically say the cost of buying alcohol in Germany for a restaurant in comparison to Canada is half, you know, at least 40% cheaper. And that shrinks the, ch the chance down for a restaurant to make any money with alcohol. And alcohol is, of course, normally a driver to make some good money. So, um, so for hospitality, uh, Vancouver is a very tough market as it is in most of the big, big cities. Uh, but for example, in New York or Toronto, San Francisco, there are more people who actually are willing to spend more money for uh, hosting, for uh, going for dinner, um, the availability, like the, the idea of spending money in a restaurant uh, is uh, their way higher. In Vancouver, in the five years of operating, uh, one year, one and a half years, Blenheim, like the sports bar uh, we had in Kitsilano, and five years of Bauhaus, 
I would say that in Vancouver, the real amount of, let's say, real high-end foodies who would go in super high-end restaurants and Michelin star restaurants um, are uh, yeah, limited. You know, maybe it's 10,000 people, maybe it's 15 or 20,000 people in total in Vancouver who are actually willing to spend a hundred bucks plus uh, per person for a dinner. Uh, and you come easy to a hundred bucks plus if you do a wine pairing or if you drink a higher end alcohol. So that market is limited. It means in Vancouver, most of the people uh, are very interested in restaurants where they can get out under 50 bucks total, including drinks. So that restaurants, if they are trendy and they look fancy or whatsoever, um, uh, are more likely to succeed as very expensive uh, restaurants. But in comparison to Europe, the most expensive restaurant in Vancouver is cheap. So the culture of food in Europe, and of course also in New York or San Francisco, is, a, is completely different, right? So uh, we will go next week to the Schwarzwaldstuben uh, in Bayersborn. It's a little town in the Black Forest in Germany, and there are two three-star Michelins, Barreis and Schwarzwaldstuben. They're also on the list in the top 50 in the world and so on. And there are even four more one-star Michelin restaurants in a town with 1,200 population. The uh, setup menu in Schwarzwaldstube or uh, Barreis is basically starting on 300 Canadian without drinks uh, per person. So this, these restaurants are booked for years in advance. So they are booked, 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 booked. Um, and uh, where I live by Mainz, Frankfurt, are 17 one-star Michelin restaurants in the, the circle of 40 kilometers. And uh, you will not eat there uh, without drinks for 130 Canadian without drinks. So this kind of restaurants would uh, are doomed to fail in Vancouver. You would be down to a thousand people all over uh, Vancouver, the Lower Mainland, to would be to would be willing to spend money for this kind of restaurants. And that is, of course, a very hard thing to swallow to see uh, what actually really happened uh, in, in Vancouver. So we saw it in our Overballs wine club dinners. They were very expensive and we didn't have a lot of people repeating and coming back. Thank you.